So what's going on, guys? All right. We're in a very, very difficult time, clearly. Dealing with the COVID crisis, not only here in America, but around the world. We're limited, or at least we think we are, um, to what we can do. Uh, that'll bring us happiness. And um, with this isolation causes a lot of issues to occur, a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot of... A lot of things start to arise because of this. See, we've got issues. But now's the time that we must face them. See, we always say that we think the issue is with somebody else. Always. Always. There's always that one person. Oh, I'm not where I want to be because of that guy. Ah, this guy ruined my day. Ah, that girl ruined my day. See, that's not the case. We've got issues as people, as ourselves. And now is the perfect time to face them. See, this is a time where you sit by yourself with all your troubles that you are having, just you against them. See, the boss isn't around, so you can't blame them for having a bad day. The traffic isn't bad, so you can't complain that that's why you're late. Right? You're sitting at home and freaking out and stressing. But why? Why? Obviously, with nothing left to blame, you can finally admit to yourself that it's you. You're the reason why you're not happy right now. Now it's a time for us to address that. It's extremely important for us more now than ever before to keep your physical and your mental balance. See, coming out of the COVID crisis, whenever it does decide to be done, when we can finally go back into a quote-unquote normal life, we should be stronger physically. We should be more mentally stable. And we should come out with more potential. We should be coming out of these doors and back into society with more potential. More potential than we've ever had before because now we are at our peak. See, and I get it. The world was turned upside down. I get it. Let you not complain anymore about anything and everything that comes our way because this is our time see economically I understand that we're in an imbalance we have issues right now economically and it's gonna be a problem for quite some time now we got to do more with less right and you need to understand that back in the day we didn't need as much but now everybody thinks we do I need you to understand we can do a lot with the time we have now. See, I love that now we're in a scenario where those people who are constantly always saying, man, I miss my girl. Man, I miss my husband. Man, I miss my wife. Man, I miss this. I miss that. And now they're stuck in the same house together. And they're like, this motherfucker. If he leaves that goddamn, mm, leave that sock there one more time and put that shit in the hamper. See, right? <laughs> when we're away from each other, there's only one problem. We miss them. We miss them. I get it. But when we're together, we have multiple problems. But see, the problem doesn't lie because we're together. The problem lies within ourselves. 
See, we need to realize of any type of relationship that the other person shouldn't be your source of joy. You need to realize that. That person should not dictate your joy, your happiness. You should be the main source of your joy. You should be the main source of your happiness. And everyone else should just be the supporting cast. See what I'm saying? You need to appreciate who you are. You need to appreciate and love you before you can love anyone else. So take this time that we are indoors and find those hobbies. Find those things that do bring you happiness, that brings you joy. Whether it's cooking, whether it's drawing, Things that you think you couldn't do before, do it. Try it. Who knows? You might be the next Picasso. Who knows? You may be the next ninja of Fortnite. You'd be like, man, I hated Fortnite. You try it, now you're freaking blah, blah, blah. 30 stacks. You're incredible. Holy crap. Find a hobby. Find something that brings you happiness. Find something that makes you joyful. But please, find time to self-reflect. Find time to fix those issues that you couldn't address because you didn't have the time. Now you have the time. Address those issues. Love who you are. And I've said it before, be the best version of yourself that you can be because that's what people need. See, now it's definitely a time to self-reflect, but also be productive. Productive in the sense of becoming a wonderful person. A wonderful person. See, this world, we we definitely need uh, a lot more wonderful people. We're shrouded in darkness right now. We, we have a lot of issues right now. We are... We're struggling quite a bit. There's a, there's a lot of things messing up. If you can be that ray of sunshine, if you can be that beacon of hope, you can be the difference between someone pulling the trigger and wanting a hug. You can be the difference of saving someone's life. So please, try to find your happiness. Try to find what makes you the best version of you to make you that wonderful person. Because the best thing about being a wonderful person is that not only you can enjoy that you're wonderful, because dang, I'm wonderful, this is amazing, but the world can too. And that will bring you wealth beyond money. So please, 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 please hold yourself accountable. Please self-reflect. Please become the best version of yourself. Please use this time to the best that you can. And just be productive on creating a better world, not only for you, but for everyone. And please find happiness. Enjoy who you are. Because I love you. I love you guys so much. I love my community. I love the community we've built. But more importantly, I love myself. I love who I am. I love what I do. And I'm going to be here as long as I can, telling you every single day that I love you guys. So please be happy. Thank you guys. I love you guys so much.